Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at resistance. So let's get started. The first thing to look at is the definition of resistance. And it says that resistance is an opposition to current flow. So the greater the resistance, the smaller the current flow. So the relationship between current and resistance is what we call an inverse one. It's where if one increases, the other one decreases. So if one goes up, the other one must go down. So the greater the resistance to the flow of current, then the smaller the current that can flow. The units of resistance are this Greek letter omega, which is ohms. And in a circuit, we use an ohmmeter to measure resistance. And this is the circuit symbol for an ohmmeter. So it's a big circle with the omega symbol in there for ohms. The resistance of material depends on four things. The type of material, the length of material, thickness of the material and the temperature of the material. So first of all, for the type of material, metals or conductors will have a low resistance because they will want to let lots of current through, whereas insulators such as plastics and so on will have a very high resistance to the flow of current and will therefore not let current flow through them. For the length of material, it says that longer materials means a higher resistance. And this is because the electrons will actually have further to travel through the material, which will pose a higher resistance for them. And for the thickness of material, it says that the thinner the material Material, the higher the resistance. So if you think about a wire, for example, if you were to have a thinner wire, then it's going to be a higher resistance to the flow of current because there's less space for them to move around in. Just to show you a quick simulation of this, if R is my resistance, L is the length of my wire and A is the area, which kind of represents the thickness, then you'll notice that if I increase the length, first of all, then my resistance increases. And as we said, that's because there's further for the electrons to travel in the wire. If, however, we take our area and we increase our area, you'll notice there's now more space for the electrons to move around in, so this is going to decrease the resistance to the flow of current. If we decrease the area, however, then that means there's smaller space for the electrons to move in, so the resistance will increase. And lastly, temperature of material. A higher temperature means a higher resistance, and this is all to do with the atoms and materials, which are going to vibrate more when you heat up the material, and that means the atoms are going to collide more with the electrons that are trying to move in the material, which means there's going to be a higher resistance. And we'll see this later when we talk about non-ohmic conductors. Moving on, it says that in a circuit, a variable resistor is used to allow the current to be altered by increasing or decreasing the resistance. So this word variable just means to change, so we can change resistance if we have a variable resistor, and if we we change resistance in a circuit, then we change the current as well. Some examples of where you might see variable resistors in everyday life is things like dimmer switches and volume controls, and anywhere where there's some kind of dial. So a dimmer switch for lights in your home, a volume control for a radio, you've also got things like the heat settings on a hairdryer, thermostat for heating, or the temperature knobs on a cooker. And the last thing we'll look at here is the circuit symbols for a resistor and a variable resistor. So you'll notice the resistor is quite basic, it's just a box shape, a rectangle, whereas the variable resistor, as shown in the right here, is the same, but with an arrow going diagonally through the resistor there. So we've got a resistor on the left and a variable resistor on the right. That's all for this video, hope you find it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.